welcome to our weekend in Fuchal on Madeira. Now this island is full of fresh fruit, fresh flowers of course, and fish. And thanks to a spring-like climate, there is so much to do here and I'm going to show you the best ways to spend a weekend. Madeira is often called an island paradise in the Atlantic. It's closer to Africa than to Europe, but belongs to Portugal. The capital Funchal is located on Madeira's southern coast. It makes for a great weekend escape at any time of year. My tour kicks off in the central market, which sells local produce. One of the vegetables here has a very special status. Ironically, Funchal isn't named after some exotic bird or wild fruit. It's named after fennel, this pretty unspectacular vegetable. Why is that? Because it was covered with it when it was discovered. Completely covered. They had to set it on fire so they could export it. Wow. And it burned for seven years. Seven years? Yeah. Well, what is so special about fennel found on Madeira? Uh, it's sweeter, charcoal, mm -hmm. because of the subtropical weather and the volcanic soil. It makes a great combo for, for the fruits, for the veggies, for, for everything. For flowers, too. The vendors stand out in their traditional red outfits. 80-year-old Isabel Pereira is an institution here, as is one of her flowers. She tells me the birds of paradise flowers come from here and everyone who visits wants to buy one. Do they smell? No, nothing. Nothing. But they're still pretty to look at. And this is our shopping tip, buying an original bird of paradise in Funcha. Isabel, can you wrap this up for me? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Ciao. The fish hall is where everyone comes to buy the catch of the day. Everything here comes from the waters surrounding the island. But seeing them spread out like this doesn't whet my appetite. I head over to the fish stand run by Sergio Gonsalves to hear what he has on offer. This is quite a fish market. Sergio, how many kinds of fish do you have here? 20, 20. Today we only have about 10, but in general we have more than 50. More than 50. All right, I see a really scary looking fish. What do we have here? This is black scabbard fish. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he touched it in the... All right, back to black scabbard. What is so, I see it all over here. What's so special about it? This is a typical fish from Madeira. Okay. It's, and lots of people eat because it's, it's, it's not, it's cheap for a family. They can take one full fish, it will be enough for two or three meals. And what's it taste like, the texture? It tastes, uh, the taste is, it's uh, like in fillet. Ew. This is the fillet of this fish. Okay. It's a white meat. Yeah. And it's a hard fish. It's, it's not so soft. Okay. So it's good. It's very consistent. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to try this fish later on this evening. So thank you very much for informing me about it. So we'll see how it tastes later on. Wow, that was a fun and colorful market. Now, like I said, I'm going to try that black scabbard fish later on this evening. But next up, a taste of Madeira wine. And for that, I'm off to Blandy's Wine Lodge. Wine expert Rita Atsuvedo is going to give me a quick lesson. Visitors can try out several different varieties of Madeira wine. This lodge was established in 1811 and holds vintages that are almost 100 years old. Today, Blandy's is the largest producer of Madeira wine on the island. So, I read that um, the Madeira wine it originated more or less by accident. Is that true? Yes, it is. Uh, in the 18th century, when they used to take the Madeira wines on the ships to supply the sailors, and then it was in one of those voyages, when that ship arrived to Funchal, there was some wine left, and then when they tasted it, they saw that it had basic qualities. Uh, actually, at the very beginning, they thought that it had to do with the movement of the ocean, mm -hmm. but it was only after a few years later when they discovered that it didn't have to do with the movement, but had to do with the heat. Okay. So so that brings me to my next question. I mean, the taste of this is quite strong. Does that have to do with the production? I mean, what's the difference in producing this wine compared to other wines? I mean, Madeira is talking about a fortified wine, a luxurious mm -hmm. wine, between 16 up to 22 percent of alcohol. So same categories as ports or sherries or muscatel. Okay. How do you say cheers in Portuguese? Saúde. Saúde. Cheers. 
quite strong, but very woodsy and spicy. And already I'm starting to feel the effects of this fortified wine. <laughs> so now's a good time to get some fresh air and take in the other sights. The coastal promenade leads to one of two cable car lines that run up the hill. Earlier today, I got a slight culinary impression of some of the things on offer in Fuchal. Time now to get a scenic impression with a cable car ride. It's a steep journey to the top, reaching an elevation of over 500 meters above sea level. The ride takes about 15 minutes and isn't for anyone afraid of heights. So we made it! Yay! Made to the top. We're gonna go check out the church now. The Church of Our Lady of Monte was built on the foundations of a 15th century chapel. It underwent several renovations after it was destroyed in an earthquake in 1748. The current structure was completed 100 years ago. Meanwhile, what goes up must come down. Okay, this is the activity I have been waiting for all day, a toboggan ride on dry land, and it's our activity tip on our weekend in Fuchal. Fabio here is going to take me down in this sled. How fast are we gonna go? So we will go about 35 kilometers per hour. 35 kilometers yeah. per hour, yes, no seat belts. No seat belts. No. <laughs> right. Oh, here we go. These traditional basket sleds date back to the 19th century and served as a fast way to transport goods and people down the hill. My ears are popping. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. As day turns into night, I change into something more elegant for my date with that black scabbard fish. The Santa Maria restaurant in the Old Town is one of the places which serves it. Normally, tourists aren't allowed in the kitchens of top restaurants, but we are going to get a sneak peek behind the scenes in the kitchen of Chef Ana Kamachu, who's going to prepare that black scabbard fish that we saw earlier today. And there she's got it in her hands. Yeah. Ana, so how do you prepare this fish? So we prepare it with olive oil, salt, and oregano. Just simple. All right, how long does it take to prepare? Five to 10 minutes. All right, well then, I'm gonna let you get to it. I'm gonna take my seat. Yeah. And this is my culinary tip for a weekend in Punchal. It really does just take a few minutes to prepare and is usually served with seasonal vegetables or just potatoes. Thank you, thank you. Well, this fish certainly looks different from the one I discovered this morning, so I'm anxious to see how it tastes. It's quite light and it does hit the spot after a busy day. My second day in Funchal begins with a ride in yet another interesting type of vehicle. Oh, hello there. Hi, tell me about this vehicle. It's just a beautiful tricycle moved, run by electricity, and it's just the funniest and pleasant way to <laughs> tour around the city. All right, well, Join let's... me on a tour, come on. <laughs> okay, and we're off. Sites along the route include the Say Cathedral, a late Gothic building inaugurated in 1508. The town hall and the Jesuit college are located on the central municipal square, but the highlight is when my guide Vitor drives me through the old town to see some local street art. They are not graffitis, they are art. The idea was to bring art to the old town, to the oldest part, getting old and abandoned, and this was one way they figure to bring more people down here to this area. And that plan seems to have worked. So there are around 100 doors, you say, here to discover in the Old Town on a pretty much a walking tour. This is definitely my culture tip for a weekend in Funchal. Funchal's Botanical Garden offers a sampling of the island's floral splendor. Some 3,000 different species can be found here, but you should be careful when observing them. This garden belonged to the former Reed estate. 
The family from Scotland left their mark on Funchal in more ways than one. They also established the luxurious Belmont Reeds Palace Hotel, which once hosted famous guests such as Sir Winston Churchill or Empress Elizabeth of Austria, better known as Sissy. You don't have to be a guest at the hotel to enjoy a typical English afternoon tea, as hotel director Chirioko Campos tells me. As we sit down together for finger sandwiches and scones, he fills me in on some of the protocol. All right. In terms of etiquette, what are the do's and don'ts? Nowadays, times have changed and people want to be a little more relaxed. However, we still ask our clients to wear smart casual without uh, sport clothes or sport shoes or flip flops. Well, I'm not wearing flip flops or sport shoes, so I guess I can enjoy my tea here with a great view. And of course, you can round off your afternoon tea with a glass of champagne. So tea time here is my special tip for a weekend in Funchal. And that does wrap up my tour. But we will see you again soon as I set off to explore more exciting European destinations. Until then, it's happy travels.